Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. How many books are there in the Old Testament? 27 29 37 39 The answer is 39. There are 39 books in the Old Testament of the Bible. Question 2. In what language was the Old Testament written? Arabic Hebrew Greek Latin The answer is Hebrew. The Old Testament was primarily written in Hebrew with a few portions written in Aramaic. Question 3. What relation was Jacob to Abraham? Son. Brother. Father. Grandson. The answer is Grandson. Genesis chapter 25, verses 19 to 26. Jacob was the grandson of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac was the father of Jacob, also known as Israel. Question 4. How many sons did Jacob, Israel, have? Twelve? Seven? Nine? Three. The answer is 12. Genesis, chapter 35, verse 22. Jacob, also known as Israel, had 12 sons. These sons became the ancestors of the 12 tribes of Israel. Question 5. From which country did Moses help the Israelites escape from their lives of slavery? Edom. Midian, Egypt, Moab. The answer is Egypt. Exodus chapter 12, verses 51. Moses helped the Israelites escape from their lives of slavery in the land of Egypt. Question 6. Which tribe of Israel looked after the religious aspects of life? Levi Benjamin Dan Asher The answer is Levi Numbers chapter 18, verses 1 to 6. The tribe of Levi was primarily responsible for the religious aspects of life among the Israelites. They served as priests, Levites, and temple assistants, overseeing various religious rituals, sacrifices, and ceremonies. Question 7. On which day of the year could the high priest enter the holiest place, the innermost part of the temple where the covenant box was kept? Day of Atonement Easter Sunday Passover Feast of Tabernacles The answer is 
Day of Atonement Leviticus chapter 16 verse 2 The high priest could enter the holiest place, also known as the Holy of Holies, only once a year, on the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. This was the most solemn day in the Jewish calendar, and it was the only day when the high priest would enter the innermost part of the temple to make atonement for the sins of the people. Question 8. Which of the following was not a judge? Elon, Samson, Deborah, Laban. The answer is Laban, Judges, chapter 4, verse 4. Judges chapter 13 verses 24 to 25 Judges chapter 4 verses 4 to 5 Laban was not a judge he was the father of Rachel and Leah and the father-in-law of Jacob Israel Elon Samson and Deborah were all judges Question 9 Israel split into two kingdoms after the reign of King Solomon with Israel in the north, but what was the name of the southern kingdom? Judah, Edom, Syria, Philistia. The answer is Judah. First Kings, chapter 12, verse 20. The southern kingdom of Israel, which emerged after the split following King Solomon's reign, was called Judah. Question 10. The southern kingdom eventually fell also, but to which great power? Babylon, Persia, Assyria, Rome. The answer is. Babylon, 2 Kings, chapter 25, verses 8 to 11. On the seventh day of the fifth month, in the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, commander of the imperial guard, an official of the king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He set fire to the temple of the Lord, the royal palace, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every important building he burned down. Question 11. After the exile, the Israelites returned and started to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, which other prophet along with Zechariah was sent to encourage the completion of the partly built temple? Joel, Obadiah, Haggai, Amos. The answer is Haggai, Ezra chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the prophet prophesied to the Jews in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, who was over them, Zerubbabel son of Shaltiel and Joshua son of Josadak, set to work to rebuild the house of God in Jerusalem. And the prophets of God were with them, supporting them. Question 12. One title of God is El Shaddai, which means what? God of peace. Almighty God. Most High God. Eternal God. The answer is Almighty God. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. El Shaddai is often translated as God Almighty or God of the mountains. It signifies God's power, might, and sovereignty over all creation. The term is used in the Bible to emphasize God's ability to provide, protect, and fulfill His promises. Question 13. Which king had the longest reign over the kingdom of Israel? Jeroboam II, Ahab, 
Omri, Jehu, The answer is Jeroboam 2, 2 Kings, chapter 14, verse 23. The king who had the longest reign over the kingdom of Israel was Jeroboam II. He reigned for approximately 41 years, from around 786 to 746 BCE. Question 14. What does Israel mean? Prevails with God. God's chosen. Land of God. God be praised. The answer is Prevails with God. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. Etymologically, Israel is thought to derive from the Hebrew words Yisra, to prevail, and El, God, thus meaning God prevails or God fights. Question 15. In which prophecy do we read about the Valley of Dry Bones? Daniel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, The answer is Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 to 14. Ezekiel sees a valley filled with dry bones, representing the desolation and hopelessness of Israel. However, at God's command, the bones come together, are covered with sinews and flesh, and finally, breath enters them, bringing them back to life. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.